Hello channel friends, this is W Copen 38 On today's show I'm bringing you something really special. This is something I've never had an opportunity to do before. I was contacted by a company called Deep Conceal. This is their little uh, brochure. And they asked me if I would do a review of one of their concealed carry shoulder holsters. Well I said of course I'd like to try it and to kind of give you a background, a long time ago I carried a shoulder holster all, at least 20 years ago and I used it until I wound up selling the gun that I had and I sold the shoulder holster with it. But one thing about it, at that time those shoulder holsters were very uncomfortable. They were difficult to wear, they weren't, uh, they were all leather, they weren't, they just weren't very comfortable and the only reason I used it was because that's all I had at the time and they had didn't have any new technology and there wasn't any really new ways of building them. They were primarily they were all made out of leather back in the mid 80's so there, if you either use that that was it or do without. And with the gun that I was carrying it was my uh, 44 Magnum well it was you sure couldn't put it in your pants pocket and carry it, needless to say. So I wound up using a shoulder holster rig and they were bulky and you had to fasten one side to your pants and the other side had to fasten to your belt and they were just a mess. It wasn't much fun at all. Well, getting back on the subject, these people contacted me and I said sure, I'll go ahead and order it and I went online I looked at their website and I went did my chest measurements and I found that I would take an extra large and judging by the size of my gun I was going to need the size that was for the six and a half to nine inch total length. Now one thing I'll tell you is if your gun isn't at least seven inches uh, get the smaller size because when I show you the difference uh, you'll understand what I'm talking about. It, th the way the holster is made you're going to need to make sure you actually measure the barrel more than the uh, overall length of the gun and I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a minute. So I'm going to put down their little brochure and I'm going to show you the article. Well this is the deep concealed shoulder holster. This is the part that carries the gun. Now it carries the gun vertical. Okay, it uses a Velcro strap to hold the gun in place. It's very very comfortable. Uh, after it got here, at first I felt it was too tight and I was tempted to take it back but the fabric gives a little bit after you've worn it for a while. Well, needless to say, I put it on and I used it for a few days carrying uh, one of my guns and it actually broke in enough and was comfortable enough for me to wear almost all day long which uh, surprised me because from uh, my previous experiences with shoulder holsters they were not that comfortable back then. Now this one's made with dual straps and I think that's what makes it a little bit more comfortable. Of course it's Velcro I'm going to show you the back side of this thing. It's very very soft and it's uh, not rough to wear on bare skin. I tried it. Now I'm going to give you a demo of it with my shirt on because I don't want to scare you showing my my flabby tummy. So but uh, back on the subject it was very very comfortable. Now over here it has a pocket for two magazines. Here they are. One right here, one right here. You can hold uh, two magazines in it. Now the shoulder strap you should have adjusted before you put it on and it's best to put it on with all the equipment in it when you uh, get ready to use it. On there is the, when they show you putting it on uh, at least from what I remember in their video, they show them doing it and they do not want it in condition one. They don't want you to put this, this, 
put this on cocked and locked. And I, I agree with it. I don't recommend putting it on in that condition. Here's the backing over here. Very, very soft, very smooth. And I must say I was pleasantly surprised with uh, how well it's made, how comfortable it is, and how easy it is to take on and off. Now, right now I'm going to show you, see if I can get this in frame, putting in the magazines. Now these magazines are from my Beretta. The magazines just slide right in. You just drop them right on down. Just like that. And they stay in. Now there's no retainer for them, so if you go upside down or something like that, your magazines can fall out. That's the only downside to it, but uh, that's the only drawback that I can see. Now if you're upside down, you got bigger problems anyway. Now here's the pocket for the other magazine. Let's see if I can get this in here. There you go. Okay. Now is that the proper way for the magazines to be? No, of course not. I'm just doing this on the camera. You load your magazines however you plan on, plan on withdrawing them. Okay, I'm going to take them back out. See, now that the only downside is how easy they come back out. Now, that also depends on the size of the magazines you have. If you have big old uh, double stack 45s, those are a bit of a tighter fit. Now I'm going to show you the holster section. It's this right here. Okay, For right-handers it's going to be like this. It's going to be on the left side of your body. This is a right-hand setup. So the Velcro comes off. Now I'm going to use the Beretta first and I'm going to show you something. Okay. Guns unloaded. Nothing in it. I've already cleared it. There's no nothing in the magazine. There. Everybody's happy. And it's on safe. Now on this, the bread goes in here. It fits all the way down to here. And here's where your your grip is. Your little Velcro. It comes across and is flexible. And it holds the gun really secure. I mean, I, I'm shaking this thing pretty good. And it's not coming out. Now, the only downside to it is that when it's on your body, and if you have to draw your gun in a hurry, you're going to have to practice with peeling this Velcro back a little bit with your left hand and with drawing the gun with your right. And that's where, what's my old adage, practice, 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 is going to come into effect. Now this Beretta, I'm going to take it back out and I'm going to show you a measurement on it. The gun overall, from the front of the barrel to the back, is just about 8 inches overall. I don't know if you can see it on the ruler. There's the 8. There you go. About 8 inches overall. And you have, to the grip, you have just about six inches, maybe just a tad over. Okay, now that was a really good fit in this holster. And I'm going to show you my XD45. This gun's clear too, it's nothing loaded in it. But the main thing I want to show you is this it's a little bit smaller frame as far as your overall length. This measures seven inches overall. And from the tip of the barrel to where your the stock is for, for the grip is just under six inches. Okay, now I'm going to show you how this fits. Okay, it goes in, it gets all the way to the end, but we have a little bit of a gap. Okay, that, that's not a big thing to worry about, not really, but you want to make sure that this is going to wind up being tight. Well. This has a little bit more slop in it than I really care for. And if you pull the Velcro too far, you're almost off uh, the tab that has the Velcro on it. So if you have a gun about this size, 
I recommend getting the next size down. Okay? That, that's my own personal recommendation. If you're using a Colt or a Beretta or something long, I recommend this one. Now this is the, the larger size. They only have two, two sizes as far as the holster settings. They have the, the uh, short one, that's the, uh, I believe, 4 to 6.5, and then this one's the 6.5 to 9. So check your gun before you order one of these things. I really like this. Now as far as, uh, I'm going to set the gun down, get that out of the way. The straps are very easy to work with. The Velcro is very, very easy, easy to use, and it's really secure. Like I said, I put this on, and I wore it for an entire day, and uh, I knew it was there, but it wasn't uncomfortable to wear, which is a big improvement over a lot of the older style uh, shoulder holsters. It's kind of hard to show the whole thing here. But I'm doing doing a good doing pretty good here. Now I'm going to shut the camera off and I'm going to come back to you and I'm going to show you about putting this thing on. Hey, okay? this is W Copeland 38 saying stand by. Okay, channel friends, we're back. Now, as far as putting the holster on, I recommend putting it on before you put your weapon in. Now, one of the easiest ways to put it on is to take it. And just drop it right over your shoulders and it drops right in place. You can, see, you can see that? Now, you take your gun, this one, you put it right in the holster right here. Okay? Get set in, get your Velcro on, and that's ready to go. You rotate it a little bit. Locate your magazine pouches, drop them in, there's one, drop the other one, now that part's all set. Now you take your velcro straps, take your top one, take it loose, and real easy, you just get it in place. Adjust it a little bit. Take your lower one. Put this one in place. And you're all set. Now, for your length adjustment, you just take it and pull it up real easy. Okay, do the same thing with the other one. Straighten this out just a little bit. This one's being stubborn. There you go. There's always something. There. That just turned a little bit sideways on me, but it's on. And it's real comfortable. I'm going to give you a view where your gun is. And your magazines. All in all, it's a very comfortable rig to wear, and it can't be seen. Now, of course you can see it here, but I'm going to step out of frame for a minute. I forgot my shirt, but I'm going to show you what it looks like when you have uh, an, a shirt over it, and it's really unidentifiable. Just a second. This is the camo shirt that I told you about, multicolored. You slip this on. Get it set. Now normally if you're going to use a shoulder holster, you're going to have a breakaway. You're going to have a part that's strictly Velcro in here for drawing your gun. Now here I have this set up. Do a turnaround. It doesn't print. You can't see the gun. Okay, pretty good, pretty good setup right here. Now, depending on the weather, you could wear this. 
and just, what you would do is just have a little bit untucked. You can't you can't see the gun at all. It doesn't even show up. It's, it's right here. I've got my hand on it. Okay. Now if you have to pull your gun, normally you would have a Velcro right in through here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna unsnap it. Okay. Now if you have to draw your weapon, what I recommend is remember you practice. You can feel in the shirt. You can feel the Velcro. You'd pop the Velcro, and your gun comes out just like that. Okay. Gun's still not loaded. I'm not going to try to reholster it because if you had anything going on, you might need to keep your gun out. And reholstering is not much of an option. And I'm going to take the shirt loose. I'm going to set the gun down. This is a really nice little rig, and I highly recommend it. And I appreciate the, uh, these people sending it to me for a good evaluation. I highly recommend it. I believe it's a, a good addition to anybody's uh, setup. Here's the magazines. You can see them right there. It's a really, really good deal. They're not very expensive. It was uh, under $50 for uh, this type of a setup. And if you're a little bit smaller than me around the waist, it makes it a little bit easier to wear, too. Uh, on well, One other thing on this rig. When you're putting it back in, the Velcro comes right back up, and you can actually tuck it out of the way for reholstering. Let me show you here, a little quick reholster. There you go. Velcro's out. Boom. Just like that. Nice little setup. It goes on easy. And of course, it's going to come off just as easy. Let me give you a little bit of a close-up here. You see it again, pull up, and it comes out. Nice, nice, nice rig here uh, for a shoulder holster. I recommend it, definitely, definitely. Uh, if you're interested in a shoulder holster rig, you could get one like this, and it's uh, very, very comfortable. You, you could wear it all day long without any trouble at all. Well, friends, this is W. Copeland 38 saying try this rig. I didn't get paid for any of this, but... I appreciate getting the opportunity to demonstrate something for someone, and I'll be back with more for you.